Hi, everyone. You're welcome to Opportunities Worldwide. Today, I'm hosting a 2023 Mandela Washington Fellow from Uganda. I'll let her introduce herself. Um, hello, everyone. My name is John Patience Atire. I am a community psychologist and I have had the privilege of working in the spaces of sexual reproductive health, mental health, and gender equality, where I developed programs, authored several publications to really influence um, government policies and public stances on equitable health, access, and social justice. So I'm really excited to be here and thank you for hosting me, Becky. Okay, let's move on to the second question. How did you prepare for the interviews for the Mandela Washington Fellowship in Uganda? Um, so first of all, just for context, the Mandela Washington Fellowship is a flagship program of the U.S. mission where they take on young and emerging African leaders and just train them in different areas of business and leadership. Um, there is a, a track on public management, and then the last track is on social. It's it's related to social work or social justice. So I was in the business and leadership track. So how I prepared for my interview was um, when I got notified that I had been selected for the interviews, I was excited. I was like, yay! And then I, I took time off to look at what I wrote during my interview. So the thing about MWS is that it allows you to save your past, your responses, the responses you submit. So I went back, I looked at the document, um, looked at all that I had written about the work I was doing, um, about progress that I was making in that particular field of work because I felt like that's something that I can be asked about. But also because at the time of application, I was just touching out a business and it wasn't really solid. So I needed to um, track my progress from the time I wrote the application to the interview date. And it was about eight, almost eight months or six months. So a lot of time had passed in between that. And yeah, I was able to find out what I did in between the few months. And then another thing I did was that I had a one-on-one -on -one with a previous Mandela Washington Fellowship alumna. So I reached out to her. We had a phone conversation and we were just talking about my work and sharing experiences, sharing expectations for the interview. And she just really helped me build my confidence because it wasn't like I don't know the work I'm doing, but I just needed to be confident so she, she really affirmed me and told me, you know what, the work that you're doing is amazing and these are the areas you need to improve at. And yeah, that's that's really basically how I prepared for the interviews. But also a thing I did was um, when the interview list was shared, I I checked out almost everyone on the interview list just so I could have... Um, a picture of the different people who have qualified, what fields of work are they in, what makes me different, and how can I leverage um, my strong points to just have a higher advantage over them. Yeah, so that's that's really how I prepared for the interviews. Okay, I'm interested in knowing where does someone see the interview list? Um, I don't know if it's shared in every country, but for for my case, it was shared with like all the fellows because everyone is allocated a time slot. So they put your name and then the time slot, your name and the time slot. But that's like at the later stage of, of the interview process. Okay, let's dive into the third question. How was the interview like? Um, of course, I was the only one who was anxious. The interview panel was really, really, really focused and they were super professional. There were three, three professionals, three executives from the U.S. mission. And they asked me about myself, my volunteering experience, um, why 
I applied for the MWS experience where I think I should be taken on. And I think a few other questions, how my business is doing, because you remember I applied with a business that wasn't fully operational. So yeah, it was really um a conversation, but it wasn't like I had the laxity of time. Like it, how do I explain it? Like everything was time based. So if you speak slowly, you'll end up not saying the most important things and you just need to practice how to speak fast and be eloquent about the work that you're doing. If they ask you about the work that you're doing, don't over explain, like explain the key points. And yeah, that, that's really how I feel to the interview. Through so like just picking pace when I understood that it was really going to be Fast and those guys listen to so many people and you need to convince them in the shortest possible time. So it was like just really doing elevator pitches for so many of the questions that were being asked. Um, I can't hear you. The last question, tell us about the leadership experience. Um, the leadership experience was amazing. Highly recommend for each and every young and emerging leader. Um, for me particularly, it just gave me the opportunity to network with so many brilliant minds on the African continent, especially in the area of business, which was my track. Um, it it was affirmation that I am. I am competent, I am intelligent, and the work I've been doing has not been in vain. It is being recognized. Um, it was an opportunity to learn so much from the US culture in terms of how um, their work ethic, how business is conducted, family businesses, the healthcare system. Um, I, I really can't exhaust, but it was, it was like a once in a lifetime experience. It's one thing for you to go to a country as a visitor and another thing to go as a student and you did to learn the different aspects of, of the country's culture and other time, dynamics. So for me, I just, I just felt like it was really amazing and it wasn't like it was only the studying and learning 24 7 we also had moments where we could um, interact with other fellows we could interact with ordinary u.s citizens we had um, mentors coaches so it was just really powerful and for me it's a fact even after the mandela washington experience i still have um friends from the fellowship i still have friends who are mentors and we constantly check on each other and track progress. So that that was only the Mandela Washington Fellowship. Like it should not be anything else. Yeah. Thank you, Joan, for sharing with us your experience and interview tips. I really hope that everyone who is watching this progresses to post interview stage. It was nice having you. It's goodbye for now. Goodbye.